Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. Got a good one today. I've been wandering around the state of Texas looking for RV destinations and waypoints, places where you can camp with your RV. And in my search, I found a little lake called Proctor Lake. Well, let me tell you, this is a nice place. I am at Proctor Lake, currently camped at Copris Creek Campground. And as you can see, it's been raining. <laughs> Those are all RV campsites out there. But it's been raining. I'm done at this campground. I'm gonna go to the other side of the dam. We're gonna spend a couple of days camped out at Sowell Creek Campground on Proctor Lake. So come along with me. It's gonna be about a you know, 30 minute drive for me and about a 30 second time lapse for you. So let's go to Sowell Creek Campground, Proctor Lake. Well, it is truly amazing how fast things can change. Went from a beautiful, sunny, beautiful morning, and now the clouds have moved in and it's sprinkling. But we have made it to Sowell, Sowell, Sowell Creek Campground, Proctor Lake. Site number five, loop number one. <laughs> can you believe that? And this is an ADA compliant site. And really, they, they call it an ADA compliant. The only thing that makes it ADA compliant is the fire pit. So we have a, a metal cover over a metal table and a concrete pad for the metal table. Nice big decomposed granite patio, beautiful tree. Check out that tree. And you know, of course we've got water view I thought I was going to have an issue getting getting level because it looks like I would, but it turns out it's pretty flat over here and there's no stunt. Well, there's a toe, little bit of a toe catch there. And it is a, this is a full connection site. This whole loop is full connection. Number four would be the Primo site if you can get it. But number five is not bad. Big enough to parking spot here so you can park your other vehicle, get it out of the way. Or another RV, I guess. It is full connection, but this is where the sewer connection is here. And my sewer, my, my black tank, my dump is here. And I'm only running with the 15 foot Rhino hose so I'm not going to be able to take advantage of that until tomorrow on my way out. And the dump station would be more convenient on my way out. So anyway, now you know. Oh, it's 30 and 50 in the pedestal. All right. Rain has, has arrived. Well, I guess, I guess that's a wheelchair accessible table on both sides. This would be ideal when the sun is shining because that's west. And that great big old tree would provide you with plenty of shade for your motor home. And if you have a boat, now the, the lake is like 12 feet high, 12 feet over pool, pond, con conservation pool.
All right, we're gonna we're gonna see if this rain will pass, and then we'll go see some stuff. Soul Creek Park, Proctor Lake. Very spacious metal covered group area. There's actually 12 RV plugs, so you can, you can get at least 12 RVs plugged in. This is a, a new facility, relatively new facility. Benches around the fire, so you can have a big old bonfire. Now the lake is currently very high. That has led to them closing off a lot of this park. And as you can see, it's raining again. Of course it's raining. Dude RV showing you a campground, so it's gonna be raining. Crappie are spawning. That whole section of the park is closed because it's flooded. Which limits the amount of stuff we can see. We'll see if we can find some more stuff. Soul Creek Park, or Sowl Creek Park. Sowl? Soul? Not exactly sure how to say that. I sure wish the sun was shining because that's a great shot of Trudy Thunder over there. I'm pretty sure that's a fishing dock. But I don't know how you're supposed to go fishing. There's a, another fishing dock or a courtesy dock over there. We're going to go check that out. That's the boat ramp. Here's the bridge. And there's the rain. Tired of the rain, ready for some dry. One good thing about a he lots of heavy rain with a new RV is you, you get to figure out where all the leaks are. If you don't need connections other than uh, if you water and electric, these are 30 amp water and electric, but man, look at this. You, you're, you've got lake on both sides. And of course, right now you got lots of lake on both sides. Let's go find some more stuff. We've made it over to the boat ramp. <laughs> it looks like, mm, I don't know if the boat ramp is open or not, but they've got the barricade. So there's, there's a pathway going up to that courtesy dock, so that tells us that the water's edge is probably where that light pole is. Amazing! Let's see what else we can get into. Proctor Lake. I'm actually camped at the Sal Creek Park is over there on the other side of the this part of the lake in case you're wondering this is public parking it's on the uh, north side of that bridge on the county road there's a sign that says no camping no campfires no firearms doesn't say anything about no overnight parking or or fishing overnight it just says no camping and there's a another place over there we're gonna we're gonna check that out i think that's a public boat ramp so that you don't have to go into the the campground and when i was coming across this bridge uh, the lake is extremely high right now but right over there <laughs> there's a flood marker the top of that sign is it says five feet so that would be five feet above the bridge which means that it's been that high before otherwise they wouldn't have put that marker there and i would be standing underwater so this isn't too bad even though everything in the campground's underwater all right let's go see some more stuff where am I? Oh, Proctor Lake. That is actually a public access boat ramp. It's right next to the bridge. And there's a, another area right down here we're gonna go check out. We're gonna go, we're gonna go down that road. So hold on. So we were over there. 
our camp right there. I mean, that's literally, that's where the campsite is. Lots of water. So I just realized that there is no sign at this little lake access point that says no fishing, or I mean, no camping and no fires. Doesn't say that anywhere. So I, I guess you can fish legally camp there overnight. That'd be a great boondocker site. More to come. So well Creek Park, so well, so well, so well Creek Park. Well, here we are. It's turned out to be a very pretty day. Unfortunately, it's not gonna last. There's more rain in the forecast. This afternoon, and then tonight, and then all day tomorrow. 70% chance of rain tomorrow. <sighs> what can I say? We're going to be rolling out here tomorrow. Tomorrow morning early. No point hanging out here in the rain when we can get on down the road and hang out somewhere else in the rain. I'm going to go to Hamilton, Texas. And if you've been following the channel, you know what I'm going to do in Hamilton. I'm gonna load up my freezer <laughs> at Wenzel's Lone Star Meat. Not sure where it's gonna go from there. So I'm doing my scooter run and I've been able to get out to the end of the road here. There's actually a fishing dock that is so far, <laughs> I mean, I mean there, you can't even get to the parking lot of, of that fishing platform. I mean, there's actually two of them. So this would be a good place to come if you wanted to do some fishing. And there's access below the dam, but you have to walk. We're gonna go back to the scooter tour. I'm doing the virtual tour of Sowell Creek Park. And I found a trail that led me to the day use area. That's actually supposed to be a swim beach, maybe. 
and then there's a play structure but it looks like this part of the park has been neglected for quite some time not a recent thing I don't know maybe if you visit you can post a comment down below and tell us whether or not this is is still in use or not I, I, I'm gonna show you something I was getting ready to do some some bank fishing got a great place here not like the last campsite nice flat area and I get out here one of the reasons you got to be real real attentive when it floods in Texas is that right there that's a nest of fire ants and then there's another one right there and if you get into those with your boat or if you walk into the water and bump into that they're gonna be on you bad news they're all over my feet now yeah no fishing down here today ow that stings a couple dozen bites on, on both feet man i guess i'll just sit here and burn wood so we're building a fire so what I've done is I got one of these. This is my Chefco fire starter and you can find, these are on Amazon. The link is in the description below. They, a long time ago they sent me some to try and I just, just fell in love with them. They work to, they're, they're the bomb for starting a fire. One whole, technically they, they say you can start four fires, but when it's damp like it is right now, I'm gonna use a full one. And I've got that sitting on a piece of wood because everything is so wet. All of that ash pit is soaked. And if I try to start the fire on that damp ash, it'll just continue to evaporate the water and it'll, it, won't, it won't burn good. So I've got that, the fire starter sitting on a, a, some wood. And then I've got, that, I covered that with about a dozen pieces of charcoal. That'll get us a bed of coals going. Because all of this wood that I've gathered is damp from all the rain. Now there's two different kinds of wood, actually multiple different. Well, we've got hardwood and softwood. So this piece is a piece of pine and it's kiln dried. And that piece on the bottom is pine and it's kiln dried. Kiln dried pine burns really hot, really fast. We're going to use that to start drying out this oak. Now, this is a rough mill oak, so I, I'm kind of thinking it was maybe from an old barn or something. Uh, it's busted up, but it's dry. It's been seasoned. Whereas these other logs, they look like they would be the bomb to burn, but they're not seasoned. They've got a lot of weight to them, so there's still a lot of moisture. They'll burn, but you've got to have a hot base to get them going. So that's what I'm working on getting is a hot base so that I can add the bigger, heavier green wood to the fire. For the storm and look how beautiful that is it's almost a sheet of glass but it shall not last storms are on the way they're out there in east texas i mean west texas moving this way of course i'm in west texas this brings us to the end of our visit 
Where are we? So well. 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 So well Creek Park. Proctor Lake. I like this little park. I think this is one of, the, one of the better Corps of Engineer campgrounds that I've been to. Actually, all of them have been really, the, the, the two that I've visited on Proctor Lake have been very nice. The people, the staff have been very, very nice. And, and if you're looking for a place to volunteer so you can have a campsite, they, they need hosts out here. So if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be so honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so very much. I'm so deeply honored. And for my patrons, y'all rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?